Welcome back to another week of distance learning. So this week we are going to work on our fourth paragraph, the conclusion, and we're also going to finish our final draft. So this week by Friday, you should have your essay done and turned in to your LET's email. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and explain the conclusion for you today. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around. Okay guys, so your conclusion, paragraph four, is going to look like this. And notice this first section says begin with a topic sentence. This is where we're going to restate our thesis in a fresh new way. Now in order to do this, I'm gonna use my graphic organizer and I'm gonna look at my thesis. Okay, so this says during the Civil War, Abraham Lincoln helped free African Americans from slavery and issued the Gettysburg Address. Well, I just need to restate this thesis in a different way. And I went ahead and did that already on my sheet here. So I used a transition word and I need to do that. And in, in order to come up with a transition word, you can come up with one on your own or you can use the resource that I've provided you in today's PDF. So I've chosen to use, in summary, Abraham Lincoln inspired many during the Civil War. Now notice I'm still telling the reader that he did something during the Civil War. So I'm restating the thesis just in a different way. Okay, by issuing the Gettysburg Address, that was something I said here in my thesis statement, he also played a vital role in the freedom of many African-American slaves. Okay, something else I said here. So all I did was take this and restated it in a new, fresh way. That's all I did. Okay, so that first section is pretty easy. This next section is where I'm going to use supporting sentences. I'm going to summarize or wrap up the main points that I wrote about in the body of the essay, and I'm going to explain how my ideas fit together. Now, in order to come up with the information that I got here, I used these parts of my graphic organizer, okay? So this is what I did. It says, Abraham Lincoln did this, okay? So when I go ahead and write my final, I'm not gonna write this, start, this part, the part that I gave you, where it tells us what to write, okay? So I'm gonna start off here, and then my next paragraph is gonna say, Abra or sorry, not my par next paragraph, my next sentence, is going to say, Abraham Lincoln did this by being willing to pay slave owners to free their slaves. Oh, well, where did I get that information? I got it from right here, okay? He talked to abolitionists and finally issued the Emancipation Proclamation. Both of my details. Okay. Next. Lincoln inspired many with his Gettysburg Address. This is where I'm mentioning this stuff. Okay. Even though it was short... Remember, I said it was only two minutes long. It was short. It is still remembered today and also some information that I wrote here. Okay. Now, this is something I chose to add to add some um, strength to my conclusion paragraph. I said, perhaps the most important thing Lincoln did was speak out about his beliefs in equality. Okay, this was something that I did get from the paragraph or from the passage. I got this information from the reading passage. I know that he had beliefs in equality by reading the passage, and it's also something that's leading into my really strong closing sentence. Okay, so this is something that's going to grab my reader and it's going to affect them. Okay, so my closing sentence, we're going to use finalizing words. We're gonna connect back to our introduction paragraph and provide the reader with a sense of closure. So I used this last sentence here to help lead into this part of my paragraph. So it says, perhaps the most important thing Lincoln did was speak out about his beliefs in equality. This belief in equality and Lincoln's willingness to speak out about his beliefs 
helped Lincoln to accomplish much during and after the Civil War. So this idea leads back to number one, my writing prompt, because we were, you know, we were writing about what Lincoln did during the war. And it also leads back to my introduction paragraph and some of the things that I talked about there, okay? So I hope that this conclusion paragraph doesn't confuse you because really it is just restating a lot of stuff that we already talked about. And we're using our entire graphic organizer to do this, except for not the hook, right? So we're gonna use the thesis statement here. We're gonna restate it in a new, fresh way. We're gonna use our topics and details here, okay? So two topics and details, and I mentioned them in short, brief ways, just wrapping it up. And then also I ended with a closing sentence that was strong and that made my readers think about, hmm, I guess Abraham Lincoln really did do a lot of stuff that was really important during the Civil War, okay? So I hope this makes sense. If it doesn't, always reach out to me. You may also reach out to your LET. Happy writing.